Good morning. I'm so comfy right now. <sighs> But it's not even early. It's literally just past 9 a.m. I hate that for me. Oh, my eyeballs. Let's hit some activewear on. All right, this is the fit. This is new Gymshark Adapt Camo coming soon. As soon as I have a launch day, I will let you know. But isn't it so vibey? I'm wearing a large in this set. I feel like I could potentially be an extra large in Gymshark now, but I fit both sizes very comfortably. I wouldn't say size up or size down. I would just say get your normal size. Absolutely stunning. I love her so much. I feel like a crunchy avo toast, savory, a big thick chocolatey protein smoothie, sweet. They really just mesh so incredibly well together. And I have two very ripe avocados. Oh, you're still recording. <laughs> I don't normally sit on the couch and watch TV while I eat breakfast. I normally just sit on the couch and try to stay off my phone and just like enjoy my food. I don't do that for lunch or dinner, but breakfast is normally like fully off technology. However, I was talking to Soph this morning and she was telling me how she's just started we re-watching The Carrie Diaries and I feel like The Carrie Diaries was one of the first TV shows that I fully watched. I remember having like a dodgy old desktop computer in my bedroom and I somehow downloaded the episodes onto my computer and watched it through that. It is like the biggest and like strongest throwback show for me and so she told me that she was watching it on the Nine Now app and my Telstra TV has that. So I just watched episode one but I'm obsessed. I'm so excited to keep watching it. I'm actually going to Sos Place tonight so we're probably gonna watch a couple more episodes but now that i've had my breakfast i'm gonna do my dishes make some pre and actually get my butt out the door and go to the gym i'm training solo today and i'm just not hyped about it like i don't want to go at all i also did a hair mask last night i showed it a couple of vlogs back my hair tends to go very like orangey almost when the dye starts to fade and the first time i didn't really notice much difference but then i've used it a couple times since then and i feel like my hair really looks darker which i love it just looks a bit more chocolatey and cooler toned which I much prefer to a warm toned brown on me. So just like a little bit of an update on that. I'm really trying to hype myself up for this gym session but I'm not hyped. So that's myself right for being so aggressive. As I was trying to say, really been vibing the Naked Harvest Cherry Cola pre-workout. It kind of tastes like you've been drinking a glass of Coke and all of the ice in the glass has melted. Like it's a watered down Coke. This glass and glass straw are both from Amazon. And I've really been vibing them lately. Just been vibing a lot lately, you know. I'm going to take an Instagram story, post that, and then we'll jam out in the car on the way to the gym to try and get myself hyped. Because I'm not. Hey, here we fancy like Applebee's on a day night. Two straws, one chair, God, I got you It's an Alabama jam machine, my Dixie land the light hey. Didn't even wanna go out, why'd you call me? Okay, this is the pump up song. There's people staring at me. Okay, Riley introduced Soph and I to that song. It's not on Spotify, it's just on YouTube. I'll link it down below. Honestly, game changing. I need to go in. I'm really itchy, but I just don't want to. I'm gonna put my AirPods in, try and just put my head down, get it done. Honestly, shout out to everyone who trains on their own and like doesn't train with a friend because pff, couldn't be me. It's all a bit too hard for me.
I literally was like, I can't do 75 hard because I don't have a decision made. Meow. Because the tights. Oh, good morning. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love her voice. Me too. Like, I can't quite explain it. No, I love her voice too. I also didn't realize his last name was Kid. No, because she was just calling him Kid. Yeah, and I was like, you like flirting. Sebastian <laughs> Kid. Sebastian Hastings. You know who that is? Um, sounds really familiar. Sebastian Hastings. We're done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My favorite scooter. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Yeah, that's oh. right. My favorite scooter. <laughs> I was kind of like cutting this as things, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> Please slow down. I can't wait to watch that back. I just look like a little slippery fish. Grip is still. I just caught it with my groin. Is this Montage? Like we'll see. Stop looking at my toes, guys. No. Oh, Georgia has a thing about feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize my head was <laughs> Hey! Take the tongs. <laughs> Two socks you kind of get Yeah. Nice. Do you want, um... No. <laughs> um, Do you want mine? I don't know. <laughs> I, I love to inspire. <laughs> that was just me. Carrie. Carrie, Carrie Bradshaw. Bradshaw. I can't figure out how to put subtitles on this. I don't think you can. Oh no. It's been really hard for me. <laughs> so you sent me like, I, oh. Yeah, that looks stunning, doesn't it? It really like does. It. I'm so excited. Ain't that the trope? Have you tried the mesh yet? No, Not yet. No, stop. Just go, no. <laughs> no. No, you're going to say it with a bit more, a bit more passion. No. No. <laughs> I got a comment on my blog saying, does anyone else think George is in love with Zoe? I saw that! I was so close to commenting being like, oh my gosh, how do you know? <laughs> I was like gonna delete it and I was like, but then will people like make it into it? Yeah. So funny. <laughs> I think I'm just in love with like any of your friends at this point. Yeah. God forbid I'd just be single. <laughs> Sarah's place last night because we went to a tour this morning. I really love just the quarter of your head in my shot. Because we went to a tour this morning because Riley, Taylor, and Grace all came down from the sunny coast and we just had a killer session. A tour is Saturday sessions are just a whole nother ballpark. They are. They have fit and lean classes. So the lean is like mainly weights with a bit of cardio, which we normally do, but their fit sessions are just another level they're like, so hectic you only want to be doing them once a week yeah but it was really fun i love like a good. saturday group session with your friends and Me then too. grabbing brekkie afterwards yeah. so we went to a cafe down the road had some brekkie <laughs> i'm so <laughs> thirsty <laughs> and now i've just been sitting at soap's house procrastinating driving home my question is why don't i live two minutes away from you i've always been my question until it actually happens yeah okay. 2023 is the year yeah this cold water is so good. Is it? Yeah. You know what would make it better? What? A decision made water bottle. <laughs> Free stuff coming soon. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Every vlog I need to put it on. I see that is your also ego coming out. Georgina. Really? <laughs> Georgina. I look really tanned when I look through the lens and then I look in the camera and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Reality kicks in and it hurts. 
Taylor's car, I believe. I have to drive home. Guys, I deleted TikTok. You're not sad. No, on Sunday night. And it's oh, kind of changed week. my life. Oh. Like, I kind of feel like a better person for it. You're it right. has kind of made me go oh. on, like, Instagram more. And then I set a time limit on Instagram as well of two hours a day, like, max. Mm. And most of the time I stick to it. But, like, it's making me, like, go on Facebook. Because, yeah. like, I just need to scroll. So it's really confronting. It's <laughs> very interesting. And, like, there's nothing on Facebook that I want to see. So I just get off my phone. Yeah. You're only so bored, so you just scroll through your camera roll. I was literally just about to say, but we're working through it. We're working. You have to be uncomfortable. Yeah. To grow. Mm -hmm. Grass is only green when you water it. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep that in. Some chewing ice ASMR. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on up. Okay, okay well, I guess I'm going to take these sunglasses and go. Off. Yeah, like I see that for you. <laughs> Can you just look at me? <laughs> I you know what I also think about on the <laughs> What? The time we were in our Belinga Airbnb. We're about to go down to the beach to film our wholesome montage. Yes. And I put some lip liner on. And I turn and I say, see, I look ridiculous. <laughs> and you look at me and just laugh. <laughs> okay. And you're like, oh, oh, it's fine. And I was like, no, you're straight up laughing at me. I look crazy with lip color on. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, you don't. I do. No, you don't. You just laughed at me. No, you look better in the camera. <laughs> Can I have a rebuttal? <laughs> go on. <laughs> rebuttal. <laughs> when you go, like, look at me, and you stare at me like, <laughs> I can't help but laugh. I'm not even looking at what it is. <laughs> like, it's your facial expression that makes me laugh. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, oh, we're keeping that in mind for next time. Yeah. So. I feel like I sound like a broken record because I've talked about this on my Instagram a fair amount. But if you are not journaling, I could not recommend it more. I feel like I never journaled because I thought it was lame. Not gonna lie. I just thought it was like a kind of a waste of time and like no one's reading it. It's so like, what's the point in writing it? What do you even write about? Fully calling myself out. I just didn't see the point. And then my friend Kate gifted me this journal for Christmas. And I was like, this journal is way too cute to not be written in. So I just started writing in it. And it's honestly game changing. Like I feel like I sound so dramatic because I'm just talking about like writing in a notebook But it feels so nice to be able to get all of my thoughts and feelings out of my head Without having other people's opinions and perspectives thrown at me We all know that like talking to friends talking to anyone about any problem in life always makes you feel better about that problem or situation Journaling is like that but better. I think the fact that I know no one is ever going to read this I'm unpacking so many things in my brain that like I a didn't realize were there or B was too scared to talk about to anyone or just unpack with anyone and I feel like writing it down here almost gives me the courage to actually be able to open up to people about it as well if that makes sense it is just the best outlet I have found so far next is probably finding a therapist <laughs> but for now journaling is really the love of my life right now these are also my journaling bookmarks they're the photo booth photos from the Gymshark after dark event and they just make me so happy like look at my friends aren't they just the best so I just spent some time on my bed I wrote six full pages and I feel so much better for it. I was feeling just kind of heavy about a lot of things on my mind lately and I feel really good and really refreshed. The main reason I sat down and picked up my camera is because I got a few packages in the mail yesterday that I wanted to show you. Firstly, this envelope I am so excited about. If you've been around here for a while, you would know that I have a couple of friends in Melbourne and my friend Gemma is one of them. Gemma is one of the kindest, sweetest, most caring, thoughtful, best humans I've ever met in my entire life and it honestly breaks my heart that she lives like across the country from me and she has just started her own little stationary brand online called messy prints so obviously I had to support her and make a little order because I am just so so proud of her first of all I bought a bunch of cards because I feel like cards are just like a solid thing to just have in your drawer for whenever you need them I got this one that says happy birthday in orange a couple of times we have another orange happy birthday one we have a pink swirly one that says let's celebrate which is great because you can use it for multiple events we love versatility is versatility a word am I speaking English right now 
now. Anyway, and then this is my favorite one. It is so simple. It says, I am so proud of you. I feel like I should have gotten a few of these because I feel like this is going to come in handy. She also has some notepads and like to-do lists and stuff. And she also has some stickers. This one says, always be kind. And this one says, put your positive pants on. I think what makes me love these so much more is because she's drawn them on her iPad and then somehow just turned them into real life cards and real life stickers. And she's doing what she wants to do. And I obviously couldn't be happier. I'm prouder of her. So I'll have her Instagram here on the screen. I'll link her website, Instagram, all down below if you wanted to get any cards, stickers, notebooks, lists for yourself. So cute, supporting a small business. And I just love her so much. The last package that I have to show you is a little one from Gymshark. They're releasing new Vital Seamless colorways. I feel like Vital Seamless is just a staple classic Gymshark set. And they've brought out a brand new orange. Isn't that stunning? They also brought out a teal blue, which I just think is so nice. It's a very interesting blue and I don't think I have any activewear like this. So I'm very excited to get some wear out of these. We've obviously got the matching sports bras and they're also bringing out these shorts. I don't know what they're called, but essentially they're like original Vital Seamless shorts underneath. I don't know if you can see that, but that's just like a normal Vital Seamless leg. And then they have this flowy material over it. So they're kind of like a running short. So if you don't really feel comfortable wearing like tight fitted shorts to the gym, these are a solid option. I think I'm going to get heaps of wear out of these at soccer training. I feel like they're a great like running soccer training short. Obviously not like exclusively for soccer, like any sport you want to play, you know. I don't know if I'd wear these to the gym, but I would definitely wear them to like play sport or like go for a walk or go to the park with your dog or something. I don't know. Very cute. And this material is very, very soft, very flowy. As always, my Gymshark affiliate link is always in my description box if you did want to shop any new releases through that. Obviously no pressure or obligation, but that does let Gymshark know you came through me and I do earn a small commission. So I do appreciate everyone who shops through it. But that is all of the packages that I have to show you. I'm going to quickly pack this all up, jump in my car and I'm heading over to Grace's for dinner. I'm assuming we're just going to buy some takeout and just watch some TV. I mentioned this a couple vlogs ago, but we've been watching the show called The Wilds on Amazon Prime. If you take anything away from this weekly vlog, you need to get Amazon Prime video and watch The Wilds. It is so good. I love it so much. There's only one season. I think there's like 10 episodes. Grace and I watched seven of them together and then we had three episodes left and then I went away for Gymshark. Grace started her new job and in that time I did finish the season without her so I am the worst friend ever. But... I'm assuming we're going to finish that tonight and I'm excited to like rewatch the ending to see if I pick up on anything that I missed the first time around. Just a wholesome girls night in. Obviously Arlo will be there but yeah I'm very excited for just a chill night in. Don't really feel like being on my own tonight so made the effort to hang out with someone. Proud of myself. I'm excited. Oh hello. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> absolutely stunning. Sorry if you can hit the dishwasher in the background, but I just finished eating breakfast. I couldn't really decide what I wanted to eat. I wanted something sweet, but I wanted something savory. So I had a piece of avo toast, a piece of toast with strawberry jam. Strawberry jam has been my jam lately. Like it's so good. And then I also had a chocolate protein smoothie. The same one I make every time I make a smoothie lately. Banana, chocolate almond milk, chocolate protein, Nutella. Phenomenal. Thank me later. But I just sat down on my couch and I read while I ate breakfast. I've been reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. When I say I've been reading... I read like the first maybe chapter weeks ago and then I picked it up again the other night and I'm like finally getting into it. I'm just not a big reader. Like it doesn't come very naturally to me and I don't like crave to read if that makes sense. Like I don't look forward to reading but then once I'm reading I really enjoy it. So I'm trying to make it a bit more of a habit. I find it really helpful when I am putting off doing a task if I just set a timer for a certain amount of time and try and get that task done before the timer goes off. The other night I had a hair mask in and that had to be in for half an hour so I set a timer read for half an hour washed my hair out went to bed and it was honestly really nice so I think I might even just set myself 30 minute timers every now and then to actually sit down and read because I do really enjoy it I just sometimes can't really like motivate myself to do it that's what I'm reading at the moment I'm waiting for Grace to get here and then we're heading to the gym wearing a bit of a black outfit today we'll probably hang out for a bit after just have a chill Sunday today
Hi. I'm about to head to bed. I've got my nightly hot chocolate. I've got my book. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and read and then I'm gonna head straight to bed. I'm so tired for like no real reason. So I'm gonna try to have a good night's sleep. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate all of the love and support always, especially lately. It never goes unnoticed. Sending you all of my love and I'll catch you in my next video in the very near future. Bye.